So I try my best to stay out of modern geopolitics. However, this current situation is different. I have family that are fleeing the conflict in Ukraine, whilst many more are staying to fight. As such, all profits from this video will be going directly to the UNHCR, or UN Refugee Agency, and I'm also going to be setting up a fundraiser for you guys to donate if you so wish. My family are the lucky ones, they've managed to get into Poland and are currently living in a friend's house, but there are hundreds of thousands that are not so lucky. Please help if you can. Ukraine has been inhabited by various species of humans since prehistory. The Neanderthals are believed to have inhabited the area from around 45,000 to 43,000 BC. These Neanderthals often made small huts out of mammoth tusks and bones. Around 33,000 and 21,000 BC, the Gravitian culture came into existence. This saw an increase in productivity, noticeably in culture, with the humans carving figurines out of ivory or limestone. During this time, the humans seem to have refined their hunting strategies, noticeably in the east of Europe, where the humans seem to have specialised in mammoth hunting. As the climate gradually cooled, the Paleolithic gave way to the Neolithic. The landscape of Ukraine naturally lent itself to farming, supporting a large agricultural community. These populations were linked to each other via waterways, these same waterways also allowed culture from all over the continent to spread relatively easily. At the same time, the flatlands of Ukraine lent themselves to a nomadic way of life, noticeably nomadic horsemen, who arrived in multiple waves from Central Asia. As a result, Ukraine became a melting pot for many cultures that would then spread outwards due to Ukraine's geographical position. However, there were still no real settlements in Ukraine. The land lent itself to a nomadic way of life. As such, great nomadic horsemen cultures, such as the Scythians and Sarmatians, roamed the land. These people were of Iranian origins and caused havoc on the various civilizations of the East from their steppe homelands. It was around this time that the first true settlements began to appear in the region. The Greeks decided to set up shop and start trading in the area, the focus of their new trading cities was largely in Crimea. Eventually, this area became known as the Bosporus Kingdom and became unbelievably wealthy, largely exporting a mixture of grain, fish and slaves. Eventually, this Greek kingdom came to hold territory in both modern Ukraine and modern Russia. What's interesting about the Bosporus Kingdom is that it's largely regarded as being the first true Hellenistic state, as it was a mixed population that readily adopted the Greek language and civilization. As time progressed, several kingdoms were formed in the area. One was a kingdom settled by migrating Germanic Goths. These Goths gradually splintered into two distinct peoples, the Visigoths and the Ostrogoths. The original inhabitants of modern-day Ukraine were also finally forming their own kingdoms, the most prominent of which being that of the Alans. The Alans were master raiders, notable for organising a massive raid into Asia Minor. The Alans were budged to one side by the newly arrived Goths, However, their horse-based art began to creep its way into Gothic culture, becoming highly sought after. Neighbouring the Ostrogoths was the newly emerged culture of the Kiev, where many people believe Slavic culture comes from. This delicate balance of multiple cultures was rudely interrupted in the 4th century by the arrival of a nomadic horse tribe called the Huns. It is thought that these Huns were the remains of the Zanyong, because their people's name and their language sounds pretty similar. The Huns displaced the Goths and the Alans, sending them scattering towards the Roman Empire. The Huns carved out a bloody empire, which included most of Ukraine and Russia. Eventually, the Huns were defeated by a combined army of Germans and Romans, and with their tribal chief's death, the empire effectively fell apart. This meant that there was no great power in the region, 
which was still bordering a very rich empire in the form of the Eastern Roman or Byzantine Empire. This made the area very attractive, with many Slavic people, possibly survivors of the Kiev culture, migrating to the region. These Slavic people expanded over much of the territory that is now Ukraine during the 5th century, and would continue to expand their influence into the Balkans from the 6th century onwards. The Slavs established many great nations, united in a loose confederation called the Antes Union. The Antes are believed to be the ancestors of the Ukrainians, along with several other Slavic peoples. When this union fell apart after an Avar raid in 602 AD, most of the individual tribes survived and established firm roots in the territory they occupied. This brought an end to the ancient times and the beginning of the medieval period.